What is going on guys? This is X Satter here back again today with another mod review. Today we're going to take a look at the Kenworth T800 by, once again I'm going to say this wrong, Mario Hano, or Mario Hana, sorry, either one of those two, Loco. Uh, so this is his version of the T800, this is all done by him, so credits go to him. Uh, I already did a mod review of the Kenworth T800 by Kevin SG, so if you haven't seen that, uh, link will be in the description to my mod reviews, you can go look at that. Uh, and then once again, you can come back to this one, you can compare the differences, they are not the same at all. Uh, it's still the same type of truck, but Kevin SG's rendition of it compared to Mario Hana Locos, they're, they're too different. So, first of all, you could tell on the side that this says Kenworth and then Ken Mex, which is Mexico. So, that's where he does his trucks based off of. Another thing you'll notice too is the flames on the side, the chrome panel that is here. Uh, we'll get more into it once we, you know, we customize it, but this is his rendition of it. Uh, not sure why it's missing an antenna on this side of the mirror. I will go through and I will see if it's on my end. If it is, I will post it and say that it is, and I will say that it is there working. But this is in beta, so it could just be missing. But without further ado, we'll get into the customization on this. So this is the day cab version of it. So we'll go to the different cabins. So here's the day cab, as you can see. And then we have the studio sleeper, which we do have to change the chassis on, which is really nicely done. I do like that a lot. And then here's the aero cab sleeper. So there's the aero cab, and here is the studio, and then the day cab. And they all have the light bar underneath. We'll put that on, which does light up underneath, which is really nice. And then the studio sleeper and the aero cab sleeper have the running lights going all the way down and on the fenders and on the back of the aero cab. I got a kit. So you can see that there. So I'm going to go with the studio sleeper. Uh, there's only four different chassis so far that you could choose from. So we'll do the 6x4 150 gallon short. So you got to revert back to the day cab. The 200 gallon short, which does change the fuel tank. So here's the 150 gallon day cab and then there's the step to go up to the back and then if you do the 200 gallon it switches it to a bigger step and moves the fuel tank to the back. So there you can tell the difference there. Uh, he has added a custom mud flap in here which does kind of clip through that panel there as you can see. So that would definitely have to be fixed and moved up to this front not back here, it definitely needs to be moved up to the inside of the fender. Uh, but once again, this is in beta, so that is common to find mistakes, something like this. Uh, so we'll move on to the 6x4 200 gallon. So that's the 200 gallon. And then here's the 300 gallon. Now, the 300 gallon does change the fuel tank and the steps. It does also take away the, the lights on the fairings for the fuel tank on the step and as well on the chassis so you can see the two differences there and does take away the big step in the back because you have to accommodate for a bigger fuel tank so it does take away all that so if you are crazy about having lights on the truck you will have to either stick with the 200 gallon or that's pretty much it so and another thing I wanted to point out the flame border panels that he has going around the window and underneath the window there so I think that is really nice. Uh, looks like he forgot to flip the Kenworth sign around. And it is reading it backwards. So it looks like it was just a copy and paste from this side. But it's still in beta. Once again. So that will have to just be in a later update. And I like how it has the chrome visor up on the top window there. And on the sides over there as well. That is a nice touch. Moving over to engines. We have a bunch of different engines to choose from. So we have the Cummins ISX-12 to pack our MX-13, Cummins ISX-15, the straight pipe Cummins ISX-15. We have another Cummins ISX-15 600 horsepower, the Cummins ISX-15 600 horsepower straight piped, and then the Caterpillar C-15. I'm going to go with the Caterpillar engine. Uh, personal preference, I do love Caterpillar engines, so I am going to put that in there. Over to transmissions, we have your Eaton 4 10-speed, Eaton 4 13-speed. 
eating for 10 speed with a retarder, you have your 18 speed. Your Allison 6 speed, you're eating for 13 speed with a retarder. You're eating for 18 speed with a retarder and your Allison 6 speed with a retarder. Excuse me. Uh, I will go with the eating for 18 speed with a retarder. Once again, it's just a personal preference. Onto the interior, you have your two uh, classic interiors uh, for the Kenworth. So you have the modern interior and then you have the classic interior which has the wood grain dash panel. Uh, it also does change the seats as you can see there. So I will go with the uh, classic interior with the wood grain and the black seats. Over to paint, we'll get start from the top. We have your lapis blue, your lily white, your satin gray, your wine red, creamy orange, your crimson red, graphite black, you have your custom color which you can choose anything that you possibly desire it is all up to you so you could choose whatever you have your metallic blue metallic cyan now I've done another truck by him and the metallic did not work so it may not work on this one as well we'll check here the metallic custom color so there you go with that one and we'll try out the second one and it does not work as well so once again it's in beta this is the second truck i've tested by him where the metallic did not work so that is something that definitely needs fixed in the near future and then you have your divided which only does the base paint as i've tested in the kenworth t660 uh, by him so they both need to be updated to where you are able to have all these different skins and have a custom metallic because it does not work. Once again, they are both in beta, so it's just something you're going to have to deal with. Uh, but I am going to go with a custom color here. Um, we'll do something a little different. We'll have a dark metallic green. Something like, eh, we'll go with something like that. Alright, so moving over to the accessories, uh, there's not a whole, whole bunch of accessories, but there's a nice, uh, there's a good bit of them. So I'll start at the top here, uh, I do have the Dan Clark light bar in here, so that does work. Um, you may notice, let's see if I can get it, it doesn't quite go on the roof, it's really hard to see, but it, from a distance you can't really tell. So you could have those on there if you like, or you could have the turbo wing. Moving on down to the roof sleeper lights, I have the light adapter in here. Take the wing off. And you could add, you know, the horns or you know, you could add the lights in there if you want. So I'm not gonna do that for time's sake. And we'll leave the we'll leave the chrome wing on there. Moving on down to the cabin lights, same as the top you have the adapter where you could add the horns or, you know, whichever lights you want to add on there. So but once again, I'm not going to go through that just for time's sake. Moving on down to the sun visor. You have your standard sun visor and your blind mount. So those are your two different visors there. As you can see, this visor does kind of clip through with these lights. So you may have to change those out to possibly the bullet lights, which seem to work a lot better with it. Whoops. Which don't really seem to go through it too well uh, but they the roof is angled so they kind of it looks like they kind of go inside the roof but we'll take that off for now we'll take the light adapter off for now put the blind mount visor on so moving over to the mirrors you have your main mirrors and then your mirrors duty so those are the two different mirror options you have there moving back down to the exhaust you only have the two standard exhausts so you have this is your standard exhaust and then you have your plain stacks which are custom so they aren't like the standard SCS uh, exhaust so here's the plain ones which are nice straight piped exhausts and then you have another straight piped exhaust which is nice I'm gonna go with these ones I like these ones the best moving on down to the air filters you only have two options you have the basic ones or you have the basic with the light bar on it as so that on real quick like that 
Moving on down to the bug deflector, as you can see the bug deflector is already on there. So if you click on the bug deflector, it does add this stupid antenna in the middle, which is kind of dumb. So that needs to be fixed and updated and taken away. Why he put that in there, I'm not too sure, but it is quite stupid in my opinion. So we'll just take that off. You do have your left front mirror, so here's your left hood one, which is a little messed up. Uh, can't really see out of it, so go to the interior. I mean, you can but it needs to be hung out to the side a little bit and then you have your hood mount one which doesn't really work either because the it doesn't fit on the fender uh, so it's, that's the left side and then here's the right side personally I don't like them so I'm just gonna leave it off you can't change the grill and you can't change the bumper so hopefully that'll be something in the future that you can do uh, he, does, he did add a grill mesh in here, which I have not seen before. That's normally where the low headlights would go at, like the low beam headlights, but he has taken them out and put a grill mesh in there, which is nice. I added the light bar on the bottom, as we mentioned before, which is also nice. But you can't change the grill, and you can't change the bumper. Uh, so moving on to the side here, I'll change the rim. Uh, let's see, what are we going to do today? Uh, I'll do a dynamic chrome. I've never done it before, so we'll put that on here. Change it up a bit. Oop, I want to put that on there. And we'll change the tire to Roadmaster. Onto the side of the cabin panels, you do have your 12 inch cabin panels and your 5 inch. So I'll probably leave it on that to match with the air cleaners. Uh, as I tested on the Kenworth T680, there wasn't whenever you chose the cabin panels. With the Aero Cab, it did add that going up the side, but it does not do that on here. So we'll go over to the Aero Cab. As you can see, it doesn't add any lights going up the side. So we'll leave that back on here and put the turbo wing back on at the top, like so. So it doesn't add any lights on going up the side they are on the back of the aero kit as you can see there so moving on to the rear wheels uh, I would just change these out to the dynamic chrome we'll add the spike nuts as well as the Kenworth hubcap cover and we'll do the same to the glass wheel uh, there we go. Hubcap cover and and there we go and change the wheel. All right. So moving on to the back to the mud flaps. You have your four uh, mud flaps. You have your standard Kenworth ones, your white ones. It's also change on the top of the fender guard there. You have your SCS mud flaps, which has the SCS logo and says SCS software on the back. And then you have your chrome mud flaps, which are chrome Kenworth, and then just has the black uh, mud flap guard on the top there. Uh, I believe that's everything with the outside of the truck. So, once again, this is in beta, so there will be definitely more to come. But as it is, this is, uh, this is what you get. So, we'll go to the inside. You can't change the steering wheel out, so that's not an option yet. Um... There's no shifter here, so hopefully in a future update he'll fix all this stuff. But it is different than the other Kenworth T800 that I've done. This is his edit of it, Mario Hana Locos. This is his edit of the Kenworth T800, so which I think is nice. So we will confirm this. We'll trade it in. Trade in. This may take a moment to load since it is not a standard SCS. Oh, maybe. Hmm. My other ones, they, they were taking forever to load up. I'm not sure why that was, but now it seems like it was loading up pretty nicely. So, so we'll get through that cutscene. Get rid of that. And we will start this truck up. Alright, so we'll start it up lights on, chest out the high beams, 
see. So he has the lights do work on the bottom. He has just added a mesh cover on there. So there are the high beams. He just added a mesh cover instead of a lens, which is something different. I'm gonna test out the horn. signals there, so it's the left turn signal. Um, does not seem to be working, there's no fender turn signal. So there isn't one on the fender, or under the light bar, or under the lights, I'm sorry. So, there's none of that, it's just on the back, and it'll do the right side. Whoop, it's the horn, do the right side. And as you can see, there's none. So he does have to add the turn signals in the front, or have an option to have them underneath the, uh, the headlights there. So we'll have to fix that. Uh, the running lights on the back don't work unless they are uh, reverse lights. So, we'll take that out. No. so those don't work on the back. Which I don't think they ever did. So it is overall a really nice truck. So as always, I will drive around the block, uh, do inside uh, sound of it with the Jake brake, and then I'll do the exterior with it as well so you can get the best of both worlds so i'm going to be quiet and let you guys listen to this and then when we come back I'll give you my final thoughts on it so here we go There we go. Alright, so turn the truck off. Alright, so this has been the Kenworth T800 by Mario Hana Loco. So, and I'm, once again, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, but that's as best as I can pronounce it. But this is his rendition of the Kenworth T800. This is his edit of it. So, all credit goes to him. Uh, it is different than the other Kenworth T800 that I've done. There's no option to have a triaxle yet. Once again, it's still in beta. Uh, needs to fix the antenna for the left mirror. There isn't one on there. Needs to also fix the. It's kind of hard to see right here, but the where it says Kenworth in the flames on going underneath the window, it looks like it was just a copy and paste because it's backwards. So that needs to be fixed. Um, you know, have more options like change the fenders, have a full fender, half fender. You know, and have the option to have lights on it, add your own custom lights on it. Whenever you pick the uh, gallon from 220 to 300, you know, have the light fairings on there, or have the lights on the fairings, you know, so that they could light up like that. Yeah, I don't know why they were taken off, but I think having all these lights on here, in my personal opinion, is nice. So, overall, it is really nice. Uh, Everyone's rendition of something is always going to be different. This is how they do it. So this is his. It still needs some work onto it, but you are able to drive it. Now, whenever you download 
the link I will leave it in the description below you will get a zip file it's just like the Kenworth T660 that I did whenever you get it and you try to unzip the file it's going to ask for a password don't worry all you have to do is once you have it into a, whatever folder you keep your you know your downloaded mods into that are in you know a zip file all you have to do is just hit right click on it go down to copy it'll say you know the Kenworth T800 by him uh, then you just hit copy go to wherever your mods folder is at for American Truck Simulator right click in there and hit paste and it'll paste the whole file the whole zip file in there and then all you have to do is just start up the game go to your mods it'll say new mods found and then you'll see it'll say Kenworth T800 and there won't be a picture but it'll be there and then you just move it over I have it set as my number one priority so that's what I would do if I were you just because it's in beta uh, I also wouldn't have any other trucks in just because it may conflict with it uh, the only other one I have in is the Peterbilt 389 from Viper but it doesn't mess up anything but I do have this truck as my highest priority and any mod that I do test out will always be the highest priority out of anything out of all the trucks uh, that I have but I have two trucks in for this mod review and any other mod review that I do so that is how you get this into the game I've been asked on the other video the T660 for the password there isn't a password he's already told me there's not a password just copy and paste it into your mod folder and that's it that's all you have to do so if anyone asks me in this video I'm sorry I'm not trying to be an ass but I'm just saying if anyone asks me for the password I'm not going to reply to you watch the video and you'll find out that it does say and I'll leave it in the description below so you do have to read that that it will say copy and paste into mod folder it's going to ask for a password there isn't one I don't have it there isn't one just copy and paste it and that's it that's all you have to do so I'm sorry if that came off a little rude but I don't like repeating myself over and over again on something that all you have to do is just watch the video look at the description about. So don't ask me for it. I don't have it. There isn't one. Just copy and paste it in your mods folder. It'll be there. So that's all you have to do to, uh, to have this truck in. And if you have anything that is conflicting with it, just go through your mods and see what's messing it up. So I will mention that. But once again, this has been X Satter here. I hope you guys have had, you know, good time watching this if you did enjoy it please leave a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you are new uh, leave a comment on anything besides asking for the password for this I uh, you know I will always reply back if you have any questions or whatever but do not ask me for the password because I don't have it once again just copy and paste it so that'll be in the description below I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and once again I'll catch you guys in the next one have a wonderful day take care